Hi everyone, it's Missy, and today I want to do a customer product review on a hanging, or I should say a swinging chaise lounge. I bought this one from Costway. Um, this one I actually ordered on eBay through the Costway um, seller. And I can provide a link. Um, they do have a website, costway.com, but it's very similar to the, also the ones that I've seen on Amazon and other websites too. Hey, Biscuit! Um, so I have already opened up the box because when it came it was um, damaged so I want to make sure that all the pieces were okay because I did have a hole poked in there. Um, but it looks okay so we are going to try setting this up and I'll walk you through the steps. Okay so I got all the pieces out of the packaging. I'm going to stand up so you guys can see it all. And I'm just happy that um, they all look okay. Um, I believe I have all the pieces according to the instructions and I am setting it up here because this is where I want it to be under my tree so um, I, I really strongly recommend this because uh, the this product is very heavy which for me I feel is a good thing because we do have some strong winds occasionally and for it to stay in place it needs to be heavy so and if you lift out one part piece at a time that's not no big deal the heaviest piece is actually the piece number letter A and I like how all these pieces are marked because they go really well with the instructions. Um, I also have the hardware over here uh, for the unit. And I found out it's called a hammock chair. Uh, this one, the weight limit is 440 pounds. Um, you must place it on flat ground uh, just because you, it can tip over if you're not on a level surface. And um, it, it, it swings, so you just want to be careful with that and the swing actually is suspended by that carabiner that you see letter O. So the instructions are pictures. They um if I could show you sorry it is getting really sunny now. There we go. So the first set of instructions we're gonna make the stand and those are the four C parts over here and the part A which I said is the heaviest one over there and then Q, which is the hardware. So we'll get started and hopefully everything goes well. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking each individual leg and there's a hole here and I'm hoping to match up with that hole down there. If I can, this seems to be trickier than I thought. Oh, here we go. There. So, and then I take it, this, this Q piece just keeps both parts together when I screw them in. And this seems fairly easy enough. So I'm going to get all four legs in just by placing them in the hole like that, getting the holes lined up where I can place this Q, which is more or less like a bolt that you screw in by hand. And then hopefully we'll get it to stand up. Okay, I got the first assembly done. That was a lot more work than I thought because the holes weren't lined up. So, but we were able to get it in there. I didn't think we were going to be able to do that because that was a lot of pushing and pressing. And when we were doing that, we noticed that there is a broken piece here. I can show you. This piece is cracked. Oops. Right where my finger is, there's a crack. So I don't know how much longer this piece is going to last. And this is also rusty. I'm going to see if I can get under there. Underneath here, where the paint was, or is missing, it's like all rust. So, hopefully it will be okay. We shall see. I can get some touch-up paint. That's no problem. The plastic piece, I'm not sure what I can do. But, um, the next thing to do is to attach the umbrella to the top of our hanging, um, chair. So... I'm going to use the last Q piece. So you want to have the spokes out like so, and then I'm just going to fit this over the hole as best I can. So this would be like piece J and piece B, and this is piece Q. Ok, 
Okay, I had to slide out the umbrella some more so it's under the hook, but it's on there now. And now we get to attach this piece to the base. And they supplied the tools, so I'm just going to stick the bolt through. And the washer and the nut. I'm just happy that this hole lined up. Okay, so I got my base done. This is it for that part. And now we can actually start on the chair itself. So I can show you guys. Um, we're doing kind of like the bracket part that comes up. Um, this is what the carabiner will hook to. So I got my pieces set out. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this, but I got my two long pieces here. So I got the bolt to go through. It kind of has to be out a little bit like this. And then I'll just screw on the nut on the end. Okay, so I got my chair hanging, yay. <laughs> So all I did was I just attached the carabiner hook to the two hooks. And uh, I'm ready to finish the rest of the chair. And to do that, I gotta put some more pieces on the end. Um, I'm gonna make it now the step here where we go through the, um, kind of make where the knees go up and over. And those are pieces G. Unfortunately enough, these just have some hooks in them. She just slide right in, just like that. There we go. Now it's starting to look like something and it's getting a little bit easier to build, which is great. And then we have um, the last piece, which is piece F, that will keep these two together. I have to admit, it's really hard to work on this when it's swinging. But now we got the chair together. Okay, so I'm putting the handlebars on. And my hands are really starting to hurt. I got water blisters all over because these pieces aren't lining up. And they're not exactly, um, the machine work isn't the best. <laughs> So when I'm tightening the screws, it actually requires quite a bit of work because of that. And I'm just putting in the last screw. It's pretty basic. You just have a screw right here with a washer and then there's no nut on these because um, this is the machine work part as on the inside. You can get it. I got the top one in, and this is going to be my last one. I don't know if I'm looking forward to just finally, after I get this done, just, whoops, <laughs> relaxing, or if I'm going to be really upset with it when I'm done and then dread the fact that I'll have to take it apart and ship it back, but it's been frustrating just because of the holes not lining up, and like I said, the threads and so forth, it's 
other than that, at least, um, I haven't found any more broken pieces so far. And all the pieces have been here in each step that I need to complete. Okay, I got that one. I got them finished tightening in this one. And it's also kind of hard to work on when it's swinging around, but there I got both handlebars on. And I should be getting pretty close, if not the next step, to get the cushion figured out. I'm going to check my instructions. So, so far it's looking like what the instructions say. Yes. So the next part is the part that I've heard in reviews is the dreadful part. Um, and that is putting on the actual rope because it doesn't say how to put on the cushion exactly. It just says that you just tie it around and I don't know if you guys can see. I know it's so sunny. There you go. Hopefully you can see when it's in the shade. So I'm going to do a lot of rope work, a lot of threading just to get the black canvas piece on and then after this you can just set the and tie the cushion on top and then of course do the umbrella uh, which I heard is a chore as well sometimes. So <laughs> Um, the black, um, I want, I want to say cloth, um, is the part that is going to be the part that I tie in with this rope over here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, um, but we'll give it a shot. So I got my chair over here. I'm going to try to back you guys up so at least you see most of it. Like I said, with it swinging around, it's really hard to show you guys what I'm doing. So I, I should have finished the easy stuff now, <laughs> which I thought was pretty hard, in a way. So that's the cloth. The way I understand, looking at the picture, is that I goes through here, there we go. Doesn't want to slide too easily, but and it will go up on here. He's here. The funny thing was, is I was hoping to save some money on these because these I feel are really expensive. But I've always dreamed of having one ever since I saw it in the store and tried one out. But I think now, after this, I may just be willing to pay the extra 20 bucks and buy it in a store and have someone put it together for me. There, it worked, it fit, yay. And these are screws are going in pretty easily. So, if I can get mine. Things tightened. What's nice is that this is there, so I can start my rope work. There we go. Without having to hold on to that canvas at first. So I don't know how much you guys can see, sorry, because it's moving on me with the wind, but I got the piece across. I had to just tighten these two more together, and I'm almost wondering if I can tighten this again up here. No, I guess that's fairly tied up on top. So I'm a little worried about that because the nut is right on the edge there and I'm afraid if it got loosened, the whole thing would just come crashing down if I was sitting in it. But I'm not too worried about the carabiner. A lot of people thought that the carabiner was too small, but I thought that was actually a good size. But now I'm just gonna do the rope work. Um, I'm done with all the hardware stuff. And they, like I said, they don't really tell you how to do the rope. But I'm assuming you just knot it on the one end. And this is kind of scary too because this is, if you fall through, not a good day. So um, I'm going to probably figure out, I have to figure out some kind of knot that's going to hold. Um, but then all I'm going to do to show you guys, I'm just going to leave a piece up here. And then 
I'm just going to wrap it around and just kind of lace it through. Hopefully you guys can see this because I know it's moving on me again. So I'm just going to pull and just kind of lace it around, wrapping it around um, as best as I can, as evenly as I can. And this is going to take some time, but, um, and then hopefully I will be ready to just throw on a cushion and show you guys what I think of the project when I get done. And there you have it. I have it finished. Uh, the rope work, it took a while to get all the strings tightened but it turned out okay. Um, I just did a couple of square knots at the top to hold it and then I got the cushion on. That's pretty self-explanatory. You just tie them um, and then you can take the cushion off if it's gonna rain. And then the umbrella was the hardest part. It actually took three of us to get it on there. It's not tight. Um, I found out that the top part is a clamp and I'm afraid that the umbrella itself could actually blow off in a strong wind like everyone said. But you can take the umbrella off if you don't want to use it, so that's just fine. Uh, and I'll probably do that at night uh, when I'm not using it. I won't have the umbrella on there. But I haven't tried it out yet. <laughs> I haven't actually sat in it. So I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Missy. And today I want to do a customer product review on a hanging, or I should say a swinging chaise lounge. I bought this one from Costway. Um, this one I actually ordered on eBay through the Costway um, seller. And I can provide a link. Um, they do have a website, costway.com, but it's very similar to the, also the ones that I've seen on Amazon and other websites too. Hey, Biscuit. Um, so I have already opened up the box because when it came it was um, damaged so I want to make sure that all the pieces were okay because I did have a hole poked in there. Um, but it looks okay so we are going to try setting this up and I'll walk you through the steps. Okay so I got all the pieces out of the packaging. I'm going to stand up so you guys can see it all. And I'm just happy that um, they all look okay. Um, I believe I have all the pieces according to the instructions and I am setting it up here because this is where I want it to be under my tree so um, I, I really strongly recommend this because uh, the this product is very heavy which for me I feel is a good thing because we do have some strong winds occasionally and for it to stay in place it needs to be heavy so and if you lift out one part piece at a time that's not no big deal the heaviest piece is actually the piece number letter A and I like how all these pieces are marked because they go really well with the instructions. Um, I also have the hardware over here uh, for the unit. And I found out it's called a hammock chair. Uh, this one.